Well, all this, of course, is to allow us to get on with the vaccination programme. And if it had listened to the right honourable gentleman, Mr Speaker, we would still be at the starting blocks because he wanted to stay in the European Medicines Agency, Mr Speaker, and said so four times from that dispatch box. Nonsense. Don't let the truth get in the way of a pre-prepared gag. <laughs> Mr Speaker, the, the, pr uh, the Prime Minister knows I've never said that uh, from this dispatch box or anywhere else. But <laughs> Why would we want to be outside of the European Medicines Agency, which ensures all medicines in the EU are self safe and effective? Mr Speaker, let me give three, uh, without the details, the European Aviation Safety Agency, which deals with safety, the European Medicines Agency, and of course Europol, which I worked with for many years. These are the bits of the EU which we which should be seeking to retain, not to throw away. Uh, we will also seek to maintain membership or equivalent relations with European organisations which offer benefits to the EQ EU, such as Euratom, the European Medicines Agency, Europol and Eurojust.